Hello and welcome to this video. A major preoccupation of diversity visa applicants is when will their interview take place. A few months ago, I provided some explanation to that effect. But new viewers continue to pose questions concerning their interview dates. And so in this video, I will be sharing with you a number of things that you must be aware of as it relates to your possible interview date. So let's go into it. Welcome back to this discussion. I mentioned in recent videos that applicants whose case numbers were not yet current should continue to follow the visa bulletin because it is by means of the visa bulletin that they will get to know when their interview is supposed to be scheduled. I'm saying supposed to because it is possible for the visa bulletin to show that your case number is current for a certain month and your interview is delayed for some time. Let us take for example, some of those who saw from the visa bulletin published in the month of September that their case number is current for the month of November. We said in the last video that not all of such applicants will be interviewed in the month of November. Some of those interviews will be forwarded to the month of December. And we provided two reasons why. The first reason being related to the processing of their DS-260. And the second, the availability of interviewing space at the embassy or consulate where they will be interviewed. So, your case number could be current for the month of November, for example, but it happens that your interview actually takes place in the month of December instead of November. The visa bulletin is the official means by which you get an insight into when your interview is expected to take place. It provides an indication of the time of the fiscal year when your diversity visa interview should take place. But as I said, it is possible for that interview to be delayed for one reason or the other. That's the first point I would like you to retain. The second point is that we could use all official means to provide you with an approximate time of the fiscal year when we think that your diversity visa interview could be conducted. Such approximations are based on experience from recent program years. That is, we look back at what has happened in recent years and then based on that, we say what we think will happen during the current program year. So our approximations may or may not be exact. We usually come up with these approximations to provide insights that go beyond two months. Remember that the visa bulletin shows information for the upcoming two months, whereas there are applicants who are interested in having an idea of interview dates that exceed two months. And so it is for such applicants that we make an effort to provide these estimates. But remember that these are estimates or approximations. And so it is possible for them to be exact, but at the same time, it is possible for there to be a difference of a month or a couple of months. So when you are asking for interview date estimates, you should have that at the back of your mind. Now, to avoid having to repeatedly respond to questions relating to future interview dates, I have an article that responds to relevant questions. I have shared that article before and I'm going to share it once again. I'm going to include a link to the article in the description of this video. You can click on that link and you will be led to the article in question. And then at the bottom, you will find a number of tables corresponding to the different regions. Those tables provide insights into different times of the fiscal year when various case number ranges can expect to be scheduled for interview 
in the different regions. For example, on your screen you have a table showing estimates for the Africa region. In the first column you have different case number ranges, followed in the second column by their classification. In the third column you have their chances of being scheduled for interview. And then in the final column you have the time of the fiscal year when they are likely to be interviewed. The first case number range is below 10,000. Case numbers in that range can be classified as low case numbers. They have very high chances of being scheduled for interview and they are likely to be interviewed anytime from October to January. The second case number range is 10,000 to below 20,000. Case numbers in that range can be classified as relatively low they have high chances of being scheduled for interview and they are likely to be interviewed anytime from January to March. The third case number range is 20,000 to below 30,000. Case numbers in that range are classified as average case numbers. They have a good chance of being scheduled for interview and they are likely to be interviewed anytime from March to June. Next, we have 30,000 to below 40,000, which are relatively high case numbers. They have fair chances of being scheduled for interview. They are likely to be interviewed anytime from June to August or when the Africa region goes current. And finally, case numbers that are above 40,000. They can be classified as high case numbers. They have low chances of being scheduled for interview. They are likely to be interviewed anytime from August to September or when the Africa region goes current. And the highest case numbers in this range may never be interviewed. This is the kind of insight that the tables in the article provide. But as I said, those are but estimates. Now, let us consider our third and final point. You get to know your actual interview date from your interview notification. Yes, the Visa Bulletin provides the official indication. Diversity Visa commentators may suggest unofficial estimates. But at the end of the day, it is your interview notification that will spell out the details of your diversity visa interview, including the exact date and time when your interview will be conducted. Now, with that article at your disposal, you no longer need to post questions concerning future interview dates in the common area. Just use the article to get answers to questions that you may have concerning future interview dates. Which brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. If you have other questions, apart from questions concerning future interview dates, you can leave them in the comment area below, and I will see you, God willing, in the next video. Goodbye.